this is the last part for our taco system the function test there is maintenance function test and then go to taco menu for the function test this is the reference that we need to satisfy a.ff means a angle encoder a f false then false it means it's not hitting the taco if the the reference is t it means true that is hitting the taco inside the angle encoder marker master a encoder a tdc1 at zero degrees if you set to zero degrees this must be true means letter t also at the other side at the turning wheel encoder a at 90 degrees that is the taco where attached to the flywheel at 90 degrees must be activate if that is activate the the indicator is true letter t this is angle encoder b this must be satisfy also same with the a but the b is at the 45 degrees but if you hit the 45 degrees this letter change to t means true same with the other side marker master b encoder b at 135 degrees if you hit that 135 degrees exactly 135 degrees this will be true the indicator is true but for now aff and bff you need to satisfy and follow the next step first step is preparation when you click start an assistant is standing at turning wheel for now we don't have any assistant so that we can show you the actual degree at the turning wheel okay done next step is test the taco signal there is a start button if you click that one and then the first command is turn the engine to 2 degrees before TDC1 at cylinder 1 we will show you actual we need to set the flywheel at 2 degrees before TDC1 chief engineer will show you the actual position on the turning wheel he is preparing and setting 2 degrees before top dead center TDC1 as you can see it is set at 2 degrees before TDC1 and then that is a indicator is not illuminated it means false okay it's already satisfied and test value AFF BFF then next press done okay after pressing done test value is okay step 2 is reboot CCU and ECU press reboot we will wait the test value must be okay okay the test value is okay then step 3 turn engine ahead direction to 2 degrees after TDC 1 then we need to set this procedure number 3 2 degrees after TDC 1 go back to the turning wheel the TSA A indicator is not illuminated after we set 2 degrees after TDC 1 after TDC1, it must be illuminated. That is a, a indicator must be illuminated. Okay, it's already set at 2 degrees after, after TDC1. We already put a yellow mark. And then that is a indicator is illuminated. It means it is the marker master a is activate then 
check the test value A T F B F F it means satisfied and then press done number three procedure is done after pressing done we go to number four press done and then then the warning it shows warning one of the mpc report that degree are not correct marker are not correct see okay go to step number four turn engine ahead direction 47 degrees after tdc1 because the reference and test value we need to satisfy reference and test value must be the same this AA indicator is illuminated and then the B the B indicator is turn off we need to set right now 47 degrees as per procedure, procedure number 4 almost 45 then we will check that is a B if that is illuminated exactly 45 the B must be illuminated the indicator this a B must be illuminated at 45 okay then we set again to 47 degrees must be set to 47 degrees so that we we need to satisfy the reference okay. 47 degrees then in the MOP we will check the value okay test value is test and the reference value is the same and then we need to press done same in number 5 procedure turn engine ahead direction to 92 degrees after TDC at cylinder 1 after that press continue uh, done button and then next Number six, turn engine ahead direction 137 degrees after TDC1. And then click OK after setting. That's it. There is a button named details. Under the support, you can click that one and then you can check the actual reading. Feedback to the CCU. 1234-1373-137 including the CCU you can check the angle the actual angle is 137 and then this one is 137 this is already the last and we will only twist that we are done with the uh, test of the tapa signals and then for the setting of fine adjustment parameters you need to perform PMI zero diagram. The engine must be in running condition. Next step, minimum speed valid in Delta Taco B. Okay. Delta, number three, Delta Taco B max measured. That is a reference and test value. Number three, enter trigger offset ahead and setting of ECS parameters. Before you can get that value, you need to do a taco calibration at the PMI computer to perform a TDC calibration just only click the run wizard after that if 
if you finish that calibration you can have your configuration parameter for ECS you can open the file and then there is a value for that one this is the first step when you click the run wizard just follow the PMI system must know exact the angle blah 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 just pause and then you can read it and then select automatic okay the next step uh, run engine engine must be running at stable load the entire calibration procedure must be carried out at the same engine load approximately 50% of engine load as per recommended if possible this is the configuration you can open the file this is the previous when during commissioning 45% this is the trigger a offset ahead this is the value that you need to put in the ECS parameter in the step 3 enter trigger offset ahead and setting of ECS parameter that is the value that you need to put okay thank you very much I hope you like this video this is the last part of taco system don't forget to subscribe and hit the bell for more updates thank you very much and also thank you very much chief engineer de Gallo, for helping us to make this video and he demonstrate properly how to function test the taco system